Hi, I'm Mary Kay and welcome to the Chi Channel. Today we're going to make a wonderful vegetable lasagna, but we're not going to use any pasta. So let's get started on this. I'm going to take my pan, put a little bit of grapeseed oil in it. I like the grapeseed oil. Then I'm going to take one medium onion. I'm going to splash it all around. One small green pepper. I only use the small one because I really don't care for green pepper that much. It kind of repeats on me. So we're just going to cook those up a little bit. Hear that sizzle? This dish is low calorie, low fat, but delicious. And no, all my brothers, there's no meat. I saw all my brothers a couple weeks ago. It was wonderful to see them all again. My sister, too. Okay, those have softened up nicely. We're just going to put them here in the crock pot. This is all part of our sauce. So, that's nice. Now, we're also going to add, let's get this a little closer so I can reach it. Okay, a half cup of red wine. Oh, I should have had the glasses out here so I could pour us a glass of wine while I was doing this. A little bit more. Okay. Now, we're also going to add about a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of chopped ripe olives. That's the black olives. We're also going to put in there two cups of tomato juice. Now, for a little extra flavor, I'm going to add a small can of diced tomatoes with jalapeno peppers. There. Looking good. Now, we're going to add some spices. We've got one teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of basil and one teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that all together and we're going to put a top on this and we're going to simmer it for two to three hours. So when this is ready, we'll be back. Our sauce has been cooking about two and a half hours now. We're going to make some stuffing that's going to go along with it. I'm going to take some ricotta cheese, about two and a half cups. The low fat is preferable. Remember, we're trying to keep this low fat, low calorie. I should have opened this before. They never work the way you want them to. This is going to be easier. See how easy that is? Right. I'm going to put 
this in a bowl. Ooh. You can use the cottage cheese or the ricotta. I just like the, the texture of the ricotta. It's smoother. If you are using cottage cheese, if you take it and run it through a blender, it's also very smooth. I needed a bigger bowl than anticipated, so here we go. Just This is our ricotta. We're putting this in. Now, I'm going to take two eggs and I'm going to beat them. <laughs> now, my nephew Maddox will tell you that the cook got arrested because he was beating the eggs. <laughs> so, there we go. We'll put the eggs in there. Mix this up. I'm going to throw about a half cup of chopped green onion in here. I'm also going to take about a half cup of grated mozzarella. Of course, it never does what it's supposed to do. We'll just mix this all up. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of my sauce and put it on the bottom of my pan just to make it a little moist before we start putting in the rest of it. Now remember, I said we were not using pasta. What we're going to use is zucchini. Now remember I have those lovely zucchini from my neighbor Pat's garden. So here we are. We're going to use those instead of the pasta. You can also use eggplant, but Carl doesn't like eggplant, so I'm not going to use it because I want him to eat this too. So, we're going to start layering this. We're going to take some of the zucchini that we've cut lengthwise, and I left the peels on. That's where a lot of your vitamins are. And you put this in just as you would pasta. You just kind of fill in all the spots. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of my cheese in there. I'm going to spread that out just as I would in a regular lasagna. Layer it just the same way. Now, a little more sauce. We're going to take some more zucchini. Now 
Pat really grew some monster zucchinis this year. Remember we stuffed some a few shows back. that so it lays a little flatter. A little more cheese. of it in there. We'll put some more sauce on top. Now this is going to make about six servings and it will end up being under 200 calories per serving. That leaves you plenty of calories to have dessert. I didn't make dessert today. Maybe we'll go out for ice cream afterwards. What do you say, Carl? Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle this whole thing with Parmesan. Now we have to put this into a 350 oven for about an hour. So we'll see you when this is ready. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it smells delicious. Looks fantastic. Let's check it out. Doesn't that look fantastic? Well, now I think I'll get a couple forks and I'll have Carl join me and we'll see how this tastes. Besides being hot, 
Mmm. Mmm. So good. See you again next time, folks. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. This is Mary Kay from the Cheat Channel.